here. Look at this, Evan. Wow. Silver, I reckon. <laughs> Be worth something. TV footage shows Evan Foster outside the museum. The time of the sequence is 3 a.m. What's he doing out of that time? That's one of the things his mother would like to know. He said he was sleepwalking and he woke up to find himself outside the museum. Yeah, right, like we believe that. that might be true. Who's that with him? We don't know. That's the mystery. Looks like an adult judging by the height. What about this farmer? Harry Ford. He was with the boy when they found the chalice. Which they donated to the museum. Well, not exactly. Anything over 300 years old is deemed to be treasure trove, and therefore the property of the crown. Rip off time. Not at all. That's the law. Mark's got a point. Perhaps it's Harry Ford and Evan thought they didn't get a big enough reward for the chalice, and now they're thinking of taking it back. Well, it's possible, I suppose. But I'm told the other figure is not Mr. Ford. Apparently, he has an alibi for the time this footage was taken. He was playing cards that night with some friends. So who is it? And what does Evan say? He doesn't. And that's what Mrs. Foster hopes we can find out. And also why he's so obsessed with the chalice. So, let's visit the Fosters, Mark. You two get down to the museum and see Mr. Stanley. Evan's always been such a good boy, but ever since they found the chalice, he's changed. In what way? Well, not sleeping, for one thing. I can hear him pacing up and down in his bedroom at all hours of the night. He was always so open, and now he's secretive. Odd. Where is he now? He's outside. He's about to come in. Evan! These are the people from the Powers Project Mrs. Stannard was telling me about. Uh, the weird people. Evan, I don't think that's very polite. No, sorry. They're here because I'm worried about you. I'm all right. But the sleepwalking. It only happened once. And you're always at the museum. I'm allowed to be. Not in the middle of the night. Uh, we're not here to accuse you of doing anything wrong, Evan. We're just trying to find some answers. What's so important about the chalice that you're spending all your time at the museum? And who were you with the other night? There was no one else there. I was alone. Can we talk about this later, Mum? I've really got things to do. Yes. That's fine with us, isn't it? Wherein und Serbien, here and hereafter. Wherein und Serbien, here and hereafter. Well, what did you get? Marion and something. What? That's what he was thinking. Don't ask me what it means. Oh, I thought he seemed quite anxious. So did I. The thing is, although he was telling the truth, he was lying too. Well, how can that be? He can't be both lying and telling the truth. And he was. He's confused. Hmm. We're not much nearer. Well, we've got what I picked up from him. But we don't know what it means. So what should we do? We'll pay Mr Ford a visit. See if he can throw any light on this. Dr. Holland? Mr. Stannard. Yes. Very pleased to meet you. I'm a keen follower of the work you're doing with the Powers Project. Really hope you and your team can help us with this. So what seems to be the problem? Well, to be honest, I've no idea. Perhaps your young assistant can throw some light on the mystery. I presume that's why you're here, Miss... Song Lee. And um, yes and no. Song Lee's an empath. She has the ability to read feelings. Really? Yes, like the fact even though you're smiling, you, you are worried. Yes, we're very worried about this change in Evan. Have you known the Fosters long? Yes, Evan's a member of the museum's Young Archaeologist Club. He used to come here because he enjoyed archaeology, but now he's here every spare moment. It's like an obsession. 
So, this chalice. Well, as you know, it was found by Evan and a local farmer, Harry Ford. Mm, how do they know one another? I think Ford's some kind of great uncle of Evan's. Evan's father died some years ago. He spends time helping out down at the farm. Mm, have they found anything before? Yeah, a few things, the odd coin. Nothing spectacular until they found the chalice. How old is it? Well, according to our experts, it's Anglo-Saxon from the 10th century. Wow, that is old. Yes, indeed. Anything else? Yes. We're still researching it, but it appears to be a burial chalice. But there are no remains of a grave at the site. Nothing? No. Just the chalice. It's a mystery. Just like Evan's obsession with it. So you reckon this guy Ford's the one behind it? Well, it's possible. He feels the museum ripped him off over the chalice. But when I said that, you said no way, Jose. <laughs> I would never use such an expression. Anyway, I've been thinking about what you and Mary said since, and it does seem a logical explanation. We know there was an adult behind Evan in the CCTV footage. Ergo, Ford's the most likely person. Ergo? It's Latin. It means therefore. You said Ford had an alibi. Well, alibis can be faked, which is where you come in. While I engage him in conversation, I want you to read his mind. See if he's telling the truth. Can I? Uh, yes, of course. years old. <laughs> 